Hey there, it's Marcus Lashock. Now, if you ever check out my blog, you probably notice that I have this unhealthy obsession with the movie Back to the Future. So if there was ever a coffee shop for me, it's probably this one. Wicker Park's Wormhole Coffee is so new, they don't even have a sign yet. Right now, they're pretty much known as the coffee shop with the DeLorean. The Wormhole is a trip back in time to circa 1984, which was, I think, my favorite year. Um, I don't know if you saw this here. Um, that oh yeah, I, no, I didn't even notice this. The shop ordered the DeLorean from the DMC repair facility in Crystal Lake. It doesn't have an engine, so getting it in the shop was the biggest challenge. Uh, but it's, it's, it's the complete car, which uh, was very exciting for me. So we and had him bring it down to Wicker yeah. Park, took the windows out. And, so you took uh, these two windows out right here in the front, and you just yeah. kind of moved the car right inside. Yeah. Like so many of the wide-eyed Back to the Future fanboys passing through, manager James Tillipaw has a soft spot for Marty McFly and his... You know, the DeLorean normally doesn't come with the uh, time travel circuitry. You, you actually built all this? Uh, yeah, I mean, it was, it was the first thing that I built inside the shop here. Mr. Fusion there on the back, not from Back to the Future 2, but from the end of Back to the Future 1. Yes, I need fuel! Mr. Fusion is actually a Krupp's coffee grinder from 1982. Oh really? Is yes. that what they used in the movie? It is, yeah. But you were walking by and you guys saw this and this yeah. kind of inspired you to walk through the door. I would definitely be more interested in buying coffee from a time-traveling coffee shop. <laughs> The entire coffee shop is a love letter to 1980s pop culture. You can spend an hour browsing through its perfect combination of Java and Jawas. <laughs> Tell me about the Ghostbusters poster. Uh, this is an original uh, subway poster from 1984 for the movie Ghostbusters. It's probably the, the thing that we're most proud of here. Do you want some uh, coffee, Mr. Tully? Do I? Yes, have some. Yes, have some. The team knows the DeLorean will get customers in the door, but it's good coffee that will keep them coming back. Here we do Metropolis Coffee as our standard for drip coffee as well as our Redline Espresso, which is their, um, their espresso blend. We also do a guest espresso program where every week we switch out from a new different micro roaster, which is around the country. And if you want to try something really fun, there's two things I love in life. I love coffee and I love Cocoa Puffs. You have something that's really going to be great for me then. Yeah, um, this is, uh, we're going to make some mocha puffs. We were making cereal one day and one of the baristas went, we should put some espresso in it. And I thought it was the greatest idea. So uh, we, we created mocha puffs and they've been a huge hit here. Wow. That is so good. As I have the health reporter standing yeah, right next to me as coffee, we speak, these good. guys are open till midnight. So uh, go there and eat while Dina's not watching you. <laughs> yes. Sugar and coffee, no, no, no. No. <laughs> it's a buzz in a bowl. Gotta live it up every once in a while. We'll be back at nine. Thanks for watching, everybody.